Okay, this is a walkway on a 54-foot Irwin sailing yacht. And this is a typical injected deck hole layout. There are two ways to do this. One, you can drill all the way through the wood. Or the other way is to just drill through the surface of the fiberglass and inject the product in, which is a technique I call skimming around this lock. Big soft spot created by the screws letting the water in. And as we keep going, we come back here to a giant circular soft spot. And it is mush. This is where I'm doing the skimming technique which is where I punch through the fiberglass just till I see wood and stop. So that I don't inject underneath the wood, I only inject underneath the fiberglass deck. And it will take care of this entire walkway, one case. Then you're gonna mask off all your holes. I put a little extra tape on the downhill side in case it comes out. Now I have to go back through and drill the holes through the tape. So here's the deck with the tape and all the holes drilled through the tape. As I said, there's two ways to do this. You can drill all the way through the wood to the bottom layer or you can drill through the top layer of fiberglass and do what I call skimming, which just helps inject the deck, get all the way underneath the first sheet of fiberglass between the wood and the glass and becomes adhesive and holds it all together and because it's structural foam, it gives it strength. So when you're done, it should look like this. Have a big puff of foam sticking out of it. Just like that, all in the tape. And then when you peel the tape up, all you're left with are these clean holes. This one here is pushing water out. All that excess liquid is either being cleaned by the injected deck or pushed back out the hole. Okay, here's an injected deck run start to finish. So, I love the cartridge in the gun. Snap it all the way in, keep it off the collar. Make sure the little pistons are lined up properly in the gun. Squeeze this thing slowly so the mix starts slowly. See how slow I am up in there as it starts to come through? You want to get both parts in there. See how it's coming up to the top now? Nice and slow. All right, here's the two parts. Coming in nice and slow. What I like to do is shoot a little of this out onto some cardboard, then hit the stop button. Now I'm ready to go. I keep paper towels nearby so that if I squirt too much product in or it starts pouring out of the hole, I don't get it all over the deck. The stuff turns yellow and will color your deck. Push it all the way down or it'll slide under the tape. See how it's white here in this first end of the tip? That's beautiful stuff right there. Push down hard. Pretty soon, it's going to start to expand. And I'm going to need that paper towel. First piece. I just like to squirt a few ounces in. I don't really know how much it's going to take, but I know overfilling it makes it bulge. So I'd rather not do that. Oh, here I am squeezing it under the tape. There's the first mistake. Pull it out. Next hole. Oops, I didn't hit the release trigger. Here's where we need the paper towel. A little on each. These are looking beautiful over here. Foaming right up like they're supposed to. Let's squirt the last of it in here. That's the end of that cartridge. All right, let's get a little paper towel. That's off there. And then pull the cartridge, right? And as you can see, the foam is starting to puff up. Okay, I'm back. Now with a new cartridge and a new tip. 
And same old collar though. I take the collars off the old ones. Once again, get this thing in there right. So these two little pistons come up at the same time. All right, get it started up the tube slowly. There it is. There it is, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. There we go. This helps it mix. So, get to the hole, push down hard, so it doesn't run under the tape. Ooh, I can feel the deck cracking and expanding. Means it's doing the right thing. I got a leak. You see, you don't want to clean all this stuff up with acetone. It's really a pain in the neck to clean. So you want to just kind of keep keep it under control. Once I feel resistance, I stop. That means there's not a lot of airspace under there for you to fill with structural foam. Structural marine foam. Closed cell polyurethane won't soak up water structural marine foam. Specifically designed to be attracted to all that moisture in your deck. the worst part about this doing this alone is not having somebody that can go behind you and clean this up but I did okay for being by myself hey not bad this is what it's supposed to look like oh yeah no more springboard deck now here's the deck completed as you can see you really can't see the holes there's a few spots I gotta take care of and I hate these little bubble marks like that and that. This is from the Marine Tech so having a bubble underneath it. So you pop the bubble, you put spit on your finger, and you work the Marine Techs back into the hole. But the rest of them are almost really tough to see. And with a little touch up paint blown in with a pre-val, we're all set. <laughs> 